Now, what the analysis shows, there are some people who are great bright thinkers. They can have a vision. They can see far of the cause-effect relationship. They can have vision. That type of thinking ability they have got. They were called by the Shastra as Brahmins, Brahmana. Nowadays, actually every organization depends upon these thinkers. The words are different. Nowadays, the management language and all that, they use the word think tank. They have to have a think tank or advisors, consultants, huh? they are specialists, consulting companies, so they can guide you, tell you. So they, that is a special kind of ability. But they may not be able to execute, rule, administer, and there are other capable of administrations, execution of plans. So they are called administrator. Shastra call them Kshatriya. Third, you know, for any kind of work or project, one very important factor is mobilization of resources and actually creating those resources. What you normally people call raising funds, creating wealth in the society, in the nation. And it is seen that all people are not capable of that. Somebody may be capable of one thing, but not the other. And the third people in the Shastric language were called Vaishya. And the fourth, for anything to be achieved, hard work is required. Do you know, there is such an expert called leg work. <laughs> Who will do the leg work? Who will do the running about? Who will do the actual work there? If everybody sits only in a, an air-conditioned room, who is going to work? I tell you, any kind of project that you take up, in your own house, only you are organizing a birthday party of your child. These four factors are required because you have to think and plan <laughs> and you have to execute that plan. You must have money for doing that and children's party means work for elders only. Huh? So much work they have to do and particularly if the child is only one year old, the first birthday, ha ha ha. The child even doesn't know why all this fuss going on. <laughs> and so much work we have to do that. We have to build a house. We have to get married. Our daughter's marriage, son's marriage. Now our mission has organized this Dhyan Yadne also. All four types of work is there or not. And we have found that some people, they'll say, Please don't ask me to raise funds or anything like that. You know. I will work, but don't ask me to do that. The other person say, don't give me in charge of any particular department. Leader must be somebody else, I will work. 
someone says, unless you make me the leader, I am not going to work. And that person has got the leadership quality also. Who will lead the whole thing? So the thinker is called Brahmana. Administrator called Kshatriya. The wealth creator is called Vaishya. And the one who works hard is called Shudra. Now somehow the name got you know corrupt in all the meaning and therefore we say Shudra be said bad or this or that. It is not. Actually that is a very hard work anybody has to do. And in our life every day we have to do all the four work. But when it comes to leading an organization or a nation or a company, then the division becomes more and more specific. This is called guna karma vibhagasha. Karma vibhagasha, based on the division of karma, these are the four groups. One more thing you must have observed that whenever there is any party gathering, suppose that children are there, youth are there, middle-aged, old people, according to age, automatically they become groups. Automatically they become. Now there if some professionals are there, I don't know how that group becomes. And those who are business people, immediately they form another group. Whether they know each other or not, even new people, immediately they understand. Then the ladies group will be there, other group will be there. That's called the birds of same feather flock together, and that's what happens there. This is called Varana Vivasthalaya. 